Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to focus on you Geminis whom are currently loosely involved with someone and no commitment has been established or offered um, by this person to you. Okay, so if this is your situation and also if you are a Gemini who is interested in having a commitment with someone, then this reading is going to be for you, okay? We're going to take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you, what are their plans and desires in regards to having a commitment with you, um, either now or in the future, and we're going to take a look at what is the most um, probable outcome between you and this person. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say that currently I have a discount sale. I have a 20% discount sale on my personal readings that I offer. Um, if you are interested, that's only going to be for the month of December. I have all that information down below down below the video in the description box okay let's go ahead and get started now let's see spirit angels and guides please show me what are this person's current feelings for gemini whoever it is that gemini is loosely currently loosely involved with All right, Gemini, first card we have here is the Four of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Fool, the Eight of Swords in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse, and at the bottom, the Emperor in reverse. Okay, let me take a look here. Emperor reverse. Hmm. Hmm. Looks to me more like someone who's kind of running away from commitment. I feel like, um, Whoever you're loosely involved with here, I feel like they, <clears throat> they're they rejecting commitment here. It's almost like something has left uh, a bad taste in this person's mouth, you know? Uh, I think that's, that's an expression. Let me see what else. This person is stressed out here with the Nine of Swords. They look very stressed. They look very like mentally conflicted. Okay, so it's related to their past here. Six of Cups is the card of the past. They they received a rejection here. They suffered a rejection from someone. The Fool is all about you know um, moving away from from your past and starting a new beginning. So I feel like. If you're loosely involved with this person, then you would represent this new beginning here. Okay, you wouldn't represent the past, okay? Because, you know, when people are loosely involved, it means that you two are don't, you two don't have any, you don't too, you don't have a strong history with each other. I mean, you could be, you could have a loose, uh, a history because you, you two could be friends. But, like, energetically, it means that you two are, are new to each other. Um, and this person is stressed about someone old. So, 
Someone who they're trying to let go of here with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Knight of Wands. I feel like somebody abandoned this person or rejected this person. And they're in a vulnerable state is what I feel. They're not really paying attention to this new beginning here. Or they're not, they're not fully putting their focus and attention into this new beginning. I feel like this new beginning is you. <clears throat> they have some they have a chip on their shoulder with the emperor in reverse they're holding a grudge yeah and the ten of swords in reverse they're they're still sulking you know ten of swords in reverse is someone who's sulking someone who's sulking someone who's wallowing in in despair or in uh self pity and you know that they, they still feel Affected by uh, a past separation, a past breakup that they experienced with someone. Um, King of Pentacles is in reverse. Somebody did not want to commit themselves to this person. Yeah, someone rejected having a commitment with this person. Yeah, and it looks to me like whoever rejected them was very harsh with them here. Queen of Swords in reverse could have been a, an air sign here, another air sign. But someone was like, attack this person with their words, you know. Very blunt, very direct. Almost accused this person of something. This third party. This is a third party situation. They, they accused your person of something. Uh oh, I feel like this Queen of Swords, I don't know, this Queen of Swords feels authentic to me because it's connected to the moon in reverse. It feels authentic to me. So it means what I'm trying to say with that is like, I feel like whatever this person um, accused your person of, the person that you're loosely involved with, I feel like they they were correct. It's almost like they had they were correct in what they were accusing your person of, or they were, um, they're validated. I feel like this person is, has, has honest validation, or is that how you say it? Like, their reasons for breaking up with your person are validated, you know, are, are merited. Feels to me like your person did something, like bad, did something wrong. And it looks to me like they deserved. It's almost like they deserve to to have been attacked, verbally attacked by this person. Because I feel like this person told, you know, told the truth. So it feels to me like your your person will um, deserve to be um, broken up with, you know, or deserve to be rejected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I don't know who this person is, but I feel like this person um, uh, is correct in whatever it is that they, um, you know, put put blame on, on your person. Whatever blame they put on your person, it was correct. Hmm. Interesting. That's kind of specific, right? That doesn't feel general. That feels very specific. Anything else, Spirit? What am I missing here? Let's see. Two of Wands in reverse. The Magician. Mm -hmm. Alright. I don't think I'm missing anything. Let's go ahead and... Let me see if I can do a clarification here. I want to clarify the... I want to clarify the uh, nine of, oh no, the four of cups in reverse. So let's clarify four of cups in reverse. Okay, and we have the, ooh, the ten of pentacles in reverse. Wow. Yeah, your person might have been a cheater, by the way. 
especially with the Knight of Wands. Your person might have been, I'm, when I say your person, I mean the person that you're loosely involved with, okay? I just, it's not that you're in a relationship with this person, because this reading is only for those of you who are loosely involved. So yeah, whoever it is that you're loosely involved with, it looks to me like they're they're a cheater. And I think that's what the third party accused um, this person of, the person that you're loosely involved with, they accused them of cheating. Tell me more about the Four of Cups in Reverse, the Strength card, or at least that's one of the things that they accused your your person of. So we have the Ten of Pentacles in Reverse and the Strength card in Reverse. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this person lost a lot. They suffered a big loss because I feel like this person had. Um, your person had a lot of stability here with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, they had something good going on. I don't know what it is, but they had something good going on. They had something um, committed or that would have been committed, that would have been stable. Or that would have continued being stable, whatever it might be. And the Strength card in reverse. Um, Yeah, you, I feel like there's a lack of loyalty or a lack of, it's like a dis, dishonor energy. Like, I feel like your person dishonored, dishonored what they had. Whatever good thing they had, they dishonored it, you know. It, it feels like a big offense. So, um, yeah, I feel like your person is left now with nothing and they're looking to have a new beginning with the full card but it looks like it's going to be a difficult thing for this person to embrace because there's a lot of guilt there's a lot of emotional baggage right nine of swords is emotional baggage a lot of emotional baggage a lot of guilt that is uh living inside of this person's mind so it's not looking really good tell me about that nine of swords spirit what's in that nine of swords here yeah, the moon in reverse, the moon. Moon is all about guilt. And, you know, intense feelings. What else? And the tower in reverse. Ooh, the tower is intense energy. And the moon is intense energy. So, yeah, heavy emotional baggage. Really heavy. And they feel guilty because of this tower card. Because they cause something to collapse. And again, it was something that was good. It it was something that had that had uh, a foundation that had stability, or that could have had. Okay, I don't know what it is, but they they created a disaster here. So let's take a look at what are this person's plans and desires in regards to you, because I don't feel like you have anything to do with this. I don't see you you know, involved with any of this. This is just your person's past here. So I feel like you're a separate energy here. Um, so let's take a look at what are this person's plans and desires with you, Gemini, in regards to having a commitment with you. Okay, first card we have here is the Hermit card, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Swords, Queen of Swords, Three of Wands in reverse. I don't feel like they have much plans here, Gemini. This person feels like they they need some time alone. It looks to me with the Hermit card, I feel like that's what they're going to be doing or that's what they're going to say that they need. 
Yeah, because there, there's, there's a lot of emotional baggage, I feel, that this person's carrying. So I'm honestly not seeing this person being ready for for any type of commitment anytime soon. I feel like this person is taking the position of 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 retreating and of isolating themselves. What is the king, Queen of Swords about here, Spirit? Clarify that Queen of Swords. Yeah, temperance in reverse. They're they they need healing and the three of pentacles in reverse. They need healing from from what they went through with the third party situation. And I feel like this person is just kind of blocking themselves from from any new opportunities as of right now. So let's take a look into the future and see what is the most probable outcome between you and this person. Let's see if, you know, anything turns around between you two. Okay, Spirit, what is the most probable outcome here between Gemini and this person? We have the Fool, the Five of Cups in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse, the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Swords, oh, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is all about things turning around. Gemini, I feel like there is a probability here of this person turning back around towards you, okay? Because it's in reverse, which means something from your past returning back to you. And this person would be that, would be that energy. The Knight of Cups is someone who's coming towards you with an offer of love. And they recently went through an ending with the Ten of Swords, okay? So, and the Fool here is upright, representing a new beginning. Um, Three of Swords represents healing. It means that somebody has healed from their wounds so to be completely honest with you that's why i asked you know let's see if things are going to turn around and i think maybe i was um i was foreshadowing here i maybe i think i already saw the cards before i took them out because i could feel i I don't know, I think subconsciously I could feel a, a turnaround for some reason, or the possibility of a turnaround. So uh, indeed, um, I do feel like the cards are saying that it is a probable outcome, that there is a turnaround, that this person will come back after healing, okay? After healing, three of swords in reverse, and will be coming towards you, wanting to offer you love, okay? They do feel a, a connection with you, um, but they are dealing currently with a lot of baggage here. Okay, so... Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to end the reading here. I hope this reading was helpful to you, Gemini. Um, I hope it made sense to you. I hope it connected or resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.